couple concerns with this project. It's a, it's a smaller herd of elk, so we're trying to deal with them very carefully. Uh, we, uh, we don't want to have any mortalities or issues related to the capture, so um, we're, it's a slower than normal capture. We're taking a lot of time with each and every one of these elk to make sure they make it through, they get their collars, and uh, Minnesota DNR can watch them from there. Besides taking more time with them? Well, part of it is it's a very small herd. It's a very delicate herd, so the population is not, you know, we don't have a lot of animals to draw off of, so we're trying to uh, be real careful with overrunning the herd. Uh, one of the concerns that we have is we keep our chase times under five minutes because if you're taking one elk from a herd and then going back to that herd and chasing it again, it runs them that much more. So we're being real careful to just run them a little bit, take one animal, run them a little bit more, maybe catch another one a little bit later after they've rested and come back. When normally that's not the case, you might be captured from a herd of three, four, six, seven thousand. Um, and uh, so this one requires a little bit more attention to be careful with. How much time are you taking in between, you know, capturing from the same pile of elk? Um, it it kind of depends. If we run the herd for about a minute um, and we have a nice quick capture on one elk, we might come back and catch another one fairly quickly. Uh, if they've run a lot or we had to work them uh, a bit more, then uh, we'll give them a lot of time or we might not go back to them at all. How much is a lot of time? Um, oh, we could give them up to a couple hours or even a day. Uh, it, it just kind of depends on how much we run them and uh, how much we feel that they might have received any kind of stress. And... How do you get in the animal capture business? That's an interesting question. It's a, it's a very unique uh, business, certainly. A series of bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not sure where it went wrong, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a very small niche industry, absolutely, and there's not very many people who do it out there, especially people who specialize in it. So uh, I, I've grown up flying around wildlife pretty much most of my life, and it's kind of related to what I do pretty much. And um, Samantha's grown up around biology and horses as well, so we kind of got into it because uh, it's what we enjoy. And uh, we're both pilots and kind of fit into what we do pretty much. No doubt, but the cows don't go into rut, so their neck size stays the same all the time. And uh, you just do it with the driver right there, and that's how you fit it.